Hey guys, welcome to Me Reacting to Game Theory. Among Us lore, you will always lose by the game theorists. Now, I haven't been reacting to the Among Us theories, and that's mainly because it really seemed like, oh, it's like, how to, the perfect kill, like, oh, 500 IQ plate, like that sort of thing, like, how to do this, and I'm like, eh, you know, I don't think, I don't know, but this in the title has Among Us lore, and I'm like, well, if he's gonna theorize about the Among Us lore, then that sounds interesting, and honestly, there are theories about Among Us, about Among Us, the fact that, like, the imposters are actually the good guys, and the crewmates are actually trying to kill the imposters, but, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, or jinx in the description, make subscribe to the game theorist thing. So, in the description, always, let's get right into it. Now. Uh oh, two's going off. Oh, two is out again. I've got it. Be careful out there. We'll watch out for you. He's gonna vent? Do you receive me? We've got you, Blue. Wait, what? Why is he in the vents? Why is he in the vents? Hey, uh, I don't feel good about this. Move, Blue, move! Someone's coming for you! Get out of there! <laughs> Blue! 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 He's gone. He's Blue gone. is gone. <laughs> Oh, nice! Okay, I like that intro. I like that intro. Theory, the show that's. Hold on. Oh my god! Really? We're doing this again? Sorry, uh, I've been there. You go. A lot of issues around the theorist station lately. Anyway, after doing our first Among Us video, I received the following comment on my second. Bruh, stop milking this. Yeah, <laughs> two videos about the biggest trending game right now is really milking the title. So anyway, oh we yeah, the third video about Among Us, and yeah, today is about the lore of this game. Yeah, there is that's what interests me. Story being told here. I don't want to be told how to play the game. Like, this is a game on. where canonically you lose your best interrogation skills. Your mastery of 900 IQ strats, your sussing out of the most sus suspects, all for nothing. You will die. Your friends will die. Your loved Jeez, ones will die. Jeez, that's super dark. Die. There I mean, is true. No winning in Among Us. Don't believe me? Stay tuned. As true. As well the official developer's website, Among Us is a game where you're an astronaut crew member that must, quote, attempt to hold your spaceship together and return back to civilization, with the stipulation that one crewmate has been replaced by a parasite. Oh, yeah. After. So, apologies to all the posters over in the Game Theorist subreddit proposing ideas like, what if there was no imposter, but instead was a paranoid crew member going on a killing spree? While I like that headcanon, I underscore exist underscore <laughs> a lot of upvotes does not necessarily uh, confirm the theory make. The official website saying that one of the people on board is a parasitic... Good idea. Is Good idea, so though. hard to argue your way out of. Also, if the word of the devs isn't enough to go on, well, I'm not sure what other explanation we have for the fact that that one of the kill animations involves the imposter's chest opening up to oh, a yeah. alien mouth with a spiked tongue that impales the yeah. There's no amount of psychopathy is making that one happen. Also, <laughs> also, the parasitic alien explanation takes care of why the imposters are able to fit into the vents while the normal crewmates aren't. And uh, speaking of vents... Wait, why? Is it because they can shapeshift? Feel that cool air. I love a good working AC system. Anyway, before we continue, it's also worth okay, pointing out that these crewmates are most likely human. Maybe that's something that you just assumed, but it's actually not as clear cut of a conclusion as you might think. You see, we can presume that their biology is something. Well, people think it's just their one bone. They only have one they bone. Have heart rates that we see on the monitors. They have blood types just like we do, and maybe most significantly, they have vending machines full of soft drinks like Mountain Dew and electronics made by Samsung. <laughs> Sorry, copyright neutral drinks like Don <laughs> Electronics made by Simsong. Oh, and uh, that vending machine also includes an Easter egg reference to the developer's other game, Henry Stickman. Oh, yeah. The energy. The energy. Yeah, I noticed that too. An embarrassingly long time to figure out that both games were made by the same team. Hey, imposter, see something, say something. That's so interesting. I wonder, how weird is that? There's got to be something going on. 
Oh my god. <laughs> anyway, the reason we need to address the questionable humanity of the crew is the fact that apparently they're three foot six inches or one point oh six. Oh yeah, tall, but they're super they heavy. Only ninety two yeah. pounds or forty one point seven kilograms each, based on the info that we're getting from the med bay scanners. I mean, that is awfully short and awfully light for a typical human being. Oh this light. Tells me I is thought that it was heavy. Is taking place far into the future, where astronauts have been specifically bred for deep space travel, or are just being selectively weeded out by science. You see, the average male height of a human being is 5 foot 6 inches tall, 1.67 meters. The average female is 5'2", or 1.57 meters. Our crewmates in Among Us are it's only 70% yeah, that size, and yet seem to both function as humans and be surrounded by human products. So this is basically so like theorizing if they're humans or not. So short? Well, the fact that <laughs> That's a tall crewmate. ...just work better for certain careers. Consider horse racing jockeys. A racing jockey can technically be anyone, but the most successful ones are going to weigh in at about 100 pounds or 45.3 kilograms and also have most of that weight concentrated in strong upper bodies for astronauts oh. traveling on long interstellar voyages to foreign oh planets, okay it's so it's like a specific height far far future we're gonna have decided that smaller astronauts are gonna yield longer more successful trips why well consider this because they can fit... traveling in deep space Wait. not only is it gonna be a long trip it's gonna be a very cramped trip meaning that every bit of space oh so they're short and and the more that you're going to be able to get out of the food and other resources that you pack, the better it's going to be for everyone on board. Larger people require more food. Caloric requirements are directly proportional to mass. Oh, really? Smaller people just are more massive than shorter people. So, in the case of astronauts, size really does matter. So the way I oh, see okay. it, Earthlings from the far future, at a time when we've either selected or bred our astronauts as a means of stretching the resources available in a deep space trip. Smaller astronauts David just Tolga. wind up being the more efficient option for deep space travel. So, okay, we're humans on a deep space mission. It's not breaking any real ground here. What else <laughs> is the story of these games? Well, the idea all the that movie one references. of the people you know has been replaced with an alien imposter is one of the oldest premises in all of science fiction. I think classics like in Oh, yeah, Body, body, body Snatcher, from 1956, yeah. Or It Came From Outer Space in 1953, or The Thing From yeah, Outer the World thing. in 1951. Jeez, there seem to be a lot of movies from the 50s about how your neighbors are actually aliens out to get you. Couldn't have anything to do with all that Cold War paranoia. Oh, but yeah, it is. Nah. But out it of is. all the sci-fi classics, there's one that this game seems to pay direct homage to. The 1980s science fiction yeah, movie, The Thing. thing. It's actually one of my that favorite one, favorite yeah, horror The movies, Thing. Makes it a perfect time I haven't seen it, but my movie. friend says it's like his favorite movie. Watching this video. And like, honest, it's older than most he has a poster in his room, video. too. The Thing is set in Antarctica. So yeah. Where a group of American scientists so he told me about it, where it's like they're all like paranoid and like all that. The team rescues the dog can't the... to learn that the man piloting the helicopter was the sole surviving member of a Norwegian Because can't, like, the thing morph into anything? spacecraft buried deep in the ice for over a So now he's just explaining century. the movie. All right. When the spacecraft thawed, it unleashed a deadly alien parasite that was capable of consuming any biological entity and copying its DNA to become a perfect replica. Sounding familiar. Yeah. The Norwegian crew is wiped out, leaving only one survivor. Because that's what's pilot. crazy. Now, it's like they're paranoid of who it is. Desperately trying to kill the dog, believing it to be the alien. And he's not wrong. The dog is the alien. Oh, who's a cute little guy? Who's my it is? killer alien? You are. Well, that's spoilers, I guess. Go fetch. What ensues is, well, basically the plot of Among Us. The people on the science station have various tasks that they have to perform, requiring them to split up, which has the paranoia ratcheting up as they all begin oh. to suspect each other. All and right. To try and ferret out the alien imposters, sometimes even killing innocents. I mean, even the debates that they have in this movie sound a lot like the team Wait, really? in Among Us. Wait, really? Where? He's one of them. When do you think it got to him? Even anytime, uh, anywhere. Hey, look, Childs, come on. The lights went out. That would have been the perfect time. Right. You said guys were missing and windows where were you the yep just oh yeah the lights went off there's a discussion in among us too so it's <laughs> among us with the added wrinkle that the killer can now pose as the victim he just killed which is actually a really cool wrinkle that they should try adding into the game oh yeah and if the parallel oh, what this specific movie and the game oh yeah weren't clear enough to you the alien's favorite form of attack is its long sharp tongue. piercing tongue that it uses to both grab and puncture its victims one by one pretty reminiscent of that one <laughs> 
animation from the game, isn't yeah. it? Also, the alien in the movie isn't just something that you can kill by stabbing or shooting it. It has to be burned to a crisp or destroyed in an explosion to actually get rid of the thing. Which, again, is why we see the game requiring more permanent solutions like the airlock or lava. Oh, yeah, the it's lava. The remaining human characters eventually decide to do the heroic thing. They accept that they're all going to die in the Antarctic science station, so the mission shifts from escape to destroy the alien imposter at all costs so it can infect anybody else. But that's not the case in the game. Unlike in the movie, Oh, so they just the blow game, themselves up? That makes that the sense. Alien wins and the worst comes to pass. Look at this. Reading the store page description for the game's DLC maps, Mira HQ and Paul, oh, yeah, the following. Mirror HQ, quote, After a long journey on the Skeld, crewmates should spend some time back at the Mira headquarters. Surely there are yeah, there's many like, imposters there. There's like a so story or something. the like long that. journey on the Skeld is referring to the events that took place in the game's first map, which presumably is when the crew first encounters the well, alien. Well, yeah. After and then... surviving an encounter with the alien parasite, the crew seems relieved to return to home sweet headquarters, thinking that they're safe, but it seems the alien menace has traveled with them back to the HQ. And things don't get any better yeah because it goes from policy. like Again, yeah skeld mirror and then DLC polis store page quote man the expedition to the research base on polis a planet far away from any would-be imposter and uh by the way polis is a direct connection back to the henry stickman lore in episode four of henry stickman fleeing the complex one of the guards is named polis petrovich same name but how do i know they're wait connected? what grab a hold of his bio and oh wait what quote polis petrovich he won a sweepstakes and got to name a planet after himself. So, pretty solid. Oh, wow. These two universes are connected. I heard that there's going to be a DLC where it's like a Henry Stickman map is going to be added. But of course, added. once you load up the map, people are bound to start dying as the alien parasite is once again running amok. The conclusion here is obvious. If this was indeed a safe place before the crew arrived, then obviously the alien parasite traveled with them. We are bringing the alien parasite wherever we go. We are spreading it. Canonically speaking, oh. Oh, killing the even if they catch it, they spread it still. Headquarters. Now, because of all of our research missions to other planets, the imposters are able to reach places that they never could have True. otherwise. Ever think it's strange that a win condition in the game is simply completing all of your science tasks? I certainly did, because it means that you get home, but the imposters are still alive. <gasps> They're still in your crew. But that's the canonical end. He's kind of right there. The thought that you won, but as the game title says, the alien and imposters are still among, among us. us. It's only a win because you're continuing the grisly, tragic story of the game. Like in all the recent FNAF games, congratulations, your skeleton got scooped <laughs> out of your body. You got the official canon ending. True. Congratulations, your body was possessed by an evil AI and now your conscience is trapped inside of a digital prison. You got the good ending. Oh, <laughs> congratulations. You just do the galaxy to a gruesome death at the hands of a series of brightly colored jelly beans. In fact, by this point, the crew members seem to have accepted frequent murder by alien imposter as a basic fact of life. It's gotten to the point where they're making snowman recreations of murder scenes. Wait, really? I didn't even notice that. Really grim sense of humor, and apparently no sense of urgency when it comes to doing their tasks if this is what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, because true. Because they know it's impossible. They've lost. And so will you. Oh! You don't need to be a 200 IQ crew member to see where this story is going. It's the tale of a bunch of astronauts who, through their actions, are allowing the alien parasite to spread. A yeah, true. That was narrowly avoided by the crew and the thing. Every step they take that brings them closer to home is one step closer to the demise of their home planet, with every person on it eventually becoming infected. Oh, wait, uh, gotta deal with wait, this. Wait, what? Oh, the reactor meltdown? Oh, yeah, somebody else is going to be there. Yeah, yeah. Oh! <laughs> Get ready for whatever new DLC map they have in the works. It's going to be a bloodbath. <laughs> Wait, he was the imposter? What? Honestly. Honestly, though, that was... Yeah, okay, I enjoyed it. It was a, a good theory. I, I liked it. And I do kind of, I guess even though it took breaks at some points, I, I do kind of like it because it is kind of comical when it does that. I was not expecting him to be the imposter at the end, but that's obviously doesn't matter because, you know, it's just like, oh, he's the imposter. 
And I think there is a Henry Stickman map in the works. The new DLC that's being added with, like, anonymous voting and also the taskbar, like, only, you know, only changing in meetings or not even changing at all, I think that's cool. Also, colorblind wires, which is sick. Honestly, the game is definitely going to change. Uh, and honestly, I cannot wait to see what's in store for it, because seriously, it is... It is sick. I think adding a Henry Stickman map is really cool. My guess it's going to be that sort of villain space base that they had. Because it's in space and that just makes sense, honestly. I feel like that would be sick to walk around there even see some like Henry Stickman references. But uh, yeah, anyways guys, I'm Joy. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one. Bye! <laughs>